And welcome back to Yakuza Zero. It's a uh, Majima's turn to tear it up on the disco floor. This is uh like ninety percent the same as Kiryu's Adventures at the Disco. So, so. Are, are you trying to tell me that she will fall in love with Majima? No, actually. Wow, I, I would fall in love does. for Majima. I mean, she? everyone should, but... Mm -hmm. At least I don't think she was as blatant about it as uh, that lady and that Kiryu story. Do you think maybe it's because she like understood where she went wrong and is now trying to play like a little bit harder to get against Majima? Could be. Mm. It makes sense if you think about it or don't. <laughs> and I should have done these quests in the uh in, in the 24 hour Cinderella outfit. <laughs> like I've just realized that now. So many missed opportunities. I mean, I'm not going to re-record this because I don't really want to do the disco battling again, <laughs> but Okay, it's okay. If there's everybody has a limit to how much they, they need or want to fulfill their LP obligations. Yeah, the, L and the LP cops will be sent your way, though. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Was Madrima asking about like how advanced battle works? I think so, or maybe Isobe was really eager to tell us about how they worked? I mean, I don't like either thing, because one assumes that we've that Majima never danced. I'm pretty sure that was like a necessary thing. One point? Yeah, yeah no, you do have to go to the, the disco at one point yeah. on your date with that lady you pick up at the phone club so you can get information on uh, well, Toto. Right. Yeah. And the other way just wastes time for the player. So. I I mean, I guess you gotta assume that uh, you might be doing this before Kiryu's disco dancing. So I guess Isobe runs the the dance floor here kind of like a high school clique or something? As you do. Man, Majima's going to blow past this guy so fast. Faster than he took the time to go through his wardrobe for something that works. <laughs> well, we got no choice. We got to go dance with this dude, I guess. I like how quickly he went from just like pure disdain to like thumbs up and a smile. Yeah, I mean, he he's only smiling because he's trying to impress that chick. <laughs> it's like, oh, yeah, cool. <laughs> I didn't know you'd suck so hard. Boom, just lay it into him. No, yeah, don't, don't insult what? me in front of Izumi chan what even were those moves, dude? Get, get out of my sight. Oh. 
<laughs> Learn to coordinate, for God's sakes. Are you literally wearing two left shoes right now? <laughs> I have a feeling like he just looked at, like, into his closet and was like, I'm feeling Ireland today. What, what <laughs> reminds me of Ireland? I know. I, I think he's just gone back to Ireland. Good. <laughs> We've been trying to get rid of him for weeks. You're famous for getting, finally ridding us of that foul stench and poor wardrobe. <laughs> Someone should probably tell him to lay out the, uh, the beer and potatoes. I thought you were going to say aftershave. Some of that, too. <laughs> anyway, leave and come back, and got to go find Isobe again. And then we'll get on with the next part of this. Oh, sick. We're going to turn into Sailor Majima. But what if we turn into, like, Robo Majima, like, uh, Robo Michael Jackson in Moonwalker? I mean, is that possible? Because I'm not against it. What would be better, though? Um... Do you think he would get a monkey if it turned into a robot? Absolutely. Then the robot transformation is way better. Hell yeah, I gotta go. Wonder, but we gotta get outside and look for shooting stars now. We need to get. Where's Bubbles? <laughs> Find Bubbles. All right, so this is our next opponent. Uh, this dude. <sighs> You know, I thought he was sizing us up, not just being depressed. No, this is, uh, that, that's how he is. He's very reserved un until he gets on the dance floor, I guess. There's, there is another you must face. <laughs> and then Kiryu like bursts through the front doors. Hell yeah, it's time for two player mode. It's Friday. Friday? That's how the song goes. <laughs> Friday song. I know, but isn't the second panel Friday? Never mind. I'm not just telling you, I'm showing you. And then he starts break dancing. <laughs> oh no, watch me no, put the breaker away. Put the bat away, no, it's not <laughs> slugger time. Majima, no, what did, what did we tell you about pulling out your knife in the middle of the dance floor? You can't settle everything with a blood feud. And you can't win by just sticking your, your spicy knife in everybody. But what about a super spicy knife? Especially not the super spicy one. Damn it. I'm too tired. <laughs> <laughs> Listening to you has been so exhausting. It's 
Does that count as him smiling? No. Well, he at least seems fired up now. Oh man, I know this song. Open the door, get on the floor. Everybody, Everybody walk, walk the dinosaur. The dinosaur. <laughs> can't, can't wait to see the copyright strike you get on this video. <laughs> It should be fine. I didn't get dinged for uh, Miracle Johnson's hit single. <laughs> we should start singing "Happy Birthday" and see if that gets you. I think uh, I think that's public domain now. Oh, is it? I think so. Damn. Oh, sick! It is Friday night. <laughs> I completely forgot. And you cut it out. Oh, I fell in love with that song last week. How can you do this to me? Yeah, I, I, I'm gonna be honest. I'm that song is okay for me. Like, not my favorite of the disco songs. Wow, today we learned I have better taste in music than chaos. What a surprise! <laughs> <laughs> Can they at least give him a name? Does the, the old guy? guy? Does, yeah, does he have to be the old guy? Yes. He showed up in the credits as the old guy. It was the other old guy. No, 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 it was that old guy. The other one actually had a name. What about the other, other old guy? He also had a name. Yeah. Don't you hate these relationships? Where everything you do is not enough? Yes. Yeah. Even though we've proven that we're capable of it. But no, she she just she needs to set the stage properly. I kind of wonder if she she works for the disco and she's just trying to get us to pay more money. Probably. <laughs> she's just expecting us to go to the bar to drink to, you know, replenish ourselves. Meanwhile, we just open up a sleeve in our coat and pull out one of the 18 you drinks so you got. <laughs> To, to Isobe's credit, though, she did get the floor completely hyped for uh, for this battle. Yeah, they're calling for your name, even though most people probably don't even know who you are. No, no, Majima, they're called Antifa. Thank you. camera is uh not very cooperative and we can tell the poorly dressed guy is in the crowd because he's shouting his love for isobe are you sure that's not one of isobe's other fans no nope. <laughs> oh no wait there he was i saw him he came back from ireland just for this It doesn't even look that much crowded from like a normal scene. Now the only difference is that everyone's uh, cheering instead of dancing. Yeah. Like we probably left the room and then she probably just said, hey, I'm going to have a dance off in like 10 minutes. Come watch us. Come watch my sick moves. And that's all she needed to do. If only Captain Falcon was here. <laughs> I'll show him my moves. Uh -huh. 
But they, they should have had somebody. They should have had a Frenchman, and then just call him, you know, yeah, Falcon, but in French. <laughs> what what is Captain Falcon in French? Like be uh, a literal translation of that. <laughs> Captain Falcon. Hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah. Isobe's thing is that she's a fan dancer, I guess. Is that like a fandango? Sure. <laughs> Is it grim? Uh, maybe if she had like muted colored fans, but no, she's got like bright pink ones, I think. I only know Fandango from one, the video game, and the wrestler, so. <laughs> Every time I hear Fandango, I think of like, uh, I think it's a site to buy movie tickets from. It is, but also it is a lively Spanish Spanish American dance in triple time that is usually performed by a man and a woman to the accompaniment of guitar and castanets. I see. Yay, we did it. We're the number one dancer at the, at the disco. But it was not recorded, so as soon as Miss Isabay recovers from this loss and murders everybody here, no one will ever question her supremacy ever again. Especially since we're never coming back. <laughs> <laughs> he became the best dancer in the universe and departed from our okay. world. Just what as a, quickly. What a time to be alive. <laughs> ah. I mean, I don't think she has to worry about it, considering you're gonna relinquish your title. Yeah, I'm. I'm not saying I'm not coming back. Much I'm like, not fighting for this this title. <laughs> much like wrestling, these things do need a constant fight to determine <laughs> who is the best at any given time. Yeah. I mean, I already proved that. And now I never have to do it again. That's how you keep your title, right? Mm-hmm. Refusing to fight is not acknowledgement that anybody is better than you. Remember that? <laughs> it's especially useful when you find yourself in a dark alley and your opponent has a knife. Hmm. You do not have to win every fight. <laughs> Anyway, for uh, beating her at dancing, we uh, we get her fans, or a fan, I guess. It's a weapon. I thought it was more just gonna be like a trophy or something. <laughs> oh, watch out! It breaks in two hits. What? <laughs> It probably does, but now I'm curious uh, how long it actually takes. Really, like it one hits KO's bosses, but nobody ever uses it because it's a fan. <sighs> Apparently, Majima actually occasionally pulls it out during uh, special sequences during the disco minigame. Hmm. <laughs> And I guess Kiryu can use it too? I actually that there's a non-zero chance that might be a a model swap mod. <laughs> it's just too bad we've taken out all the kings, so we can't incorporate the fan when all the money is falling from the sky. Hey man, that money fan is way better than the Asobe fan. Mm. Not as efficient. 